is, is, is a lot better sweet corn. I mean, 28 is superb. David had some. We checked it. Uh, refractometer only goes to 30. We figured it was 32. That was really sweet, sweet corn. Good stuff. One day Phil calls me and he says, hey, we, we, got, a, we got the settled cattle farm over here by Marion and we need to go over there and we need to look and see what they got. The, the old cows are balling and they need something to eat. This is, uh, let's see, I think you told me it was 6,000 acres and they got 600, 4,000 acres, six, 800 head of cattle, wasn't it? 800 head of cattle on reclaimed coal mine ground. And me and my brand new son-in-law and Phil, we went over there, these two guys right here, and we walked out on this. This man happens to be my dentist. And uh, I walked out through there and, and I looked around and if anybody knows what a trumpet creeper is, it's a viney, woody plant that's a vine. That's all I could find out there. And they was feeding these cows DDGs, distillers dried grain, costing $2 a day per head to feed these cattle. Come to find out, these folks had 20 gallon sitting on the shelf. That's what I was talking about enthusiasm a while ago. When you buy this product, you have to have a little enthusiasm to get out there and apply it. If it sets on the shelf, it's not going to do any good. It's kind of like rain. If it don't rain, it doesn't matter. If you don't apply Sumagrow, it doesn't matter. If it sets on the shelf. They have applied their Sumagrow now. And me and Dave, we was out there, uh, we, we was driving by. You know, whenever you got 4,000 acres of, of, of pasture, how are you going to find 20 acres out in the middle of this? And we drove by, and we spotted it. We spotted something. He said, call Phil. Find out where they applied it. Phil Little says, well, you go down this road, you take that angle road, you look through that draw. Draw, draw, valley. Okay, okay, draw. You, you go look that draw, and it's up on the hill. He says, well, tell Phil that's exactly where we're standing. And what we could tell was, the, the, it, this was in January, the winter kill, the frost kill, was substantial right there. But right here where we were standing looked really lush and green, and that was in January. To me, it looks like that wouldn't have to think very hard before I would try some more of this product and do it pretty quickly. This right here, my daughters, they helped me with this PowerPoint. They come up with a word here that is wonderful. This is why Sumagrow will be paramount for the upcoming growing season. And there's a little red line on there with a circle, and there's... There's something laying there on the ground. And what that little something is laying on the ground, that's the neighbor's soybeans. And it's where they had applied their fertilizer. And with 1.78 inches of water, it's still laying right there. It's just a little fuzzy pile. It hasn't, it hasn't dissolved yet. It's still laying right there on top of the ground. All of our, all of our F, F, F farm service people that's around us, says, hey, you are going to have to reapply your, your potash and your phosphate this year. It's all gone. How can it be all gone when these beans are just done? And there's the fertilizer. If you look around there just a little bit more, there's more of it laying there. It hasn't dissolved yet. Take your money that you're going to put in fertilizer and put it in Sumagrow to release the nutrients that's in the soil. Sprayer applications. We got different ways to apply Sumagrow. The one in the middle there is the way we apply it. The one down here on the corner is the way my mom puts it on her flowers around the sink in the kitchen. David Bartow, there, there's his rig down here in the corner that he applies it on football fields, baseball fields. And here's the way other people with a, with a four-wheeler, and there's a way you can apply it in your yard with a hand sprayer. But here's the way we apply it on our farm. Maybe. There we go. There we go. That's if you can get your brother to drive the sprayer while you're filming him, too. When it comes out of the sprayer, it's chocolate brown. Our objective is to raise healthier products for the consumer. Provide a safe food supply. 
so that the consumer doesn't have to worry about it. what's in it. Feed a growing population with sustainable agriculture. We want to repeat this every year from now till my grandkids get there to doing it. We don't want to wear the soil out right now. We call that Sumagro in 2013. Thank you. Additionally, this pro I got a minute and eight seconds. <clears throat> Additionally, this product can help remediate existing soil contaminants, help prevent the leaching of nitrates, and that is what we're going to work on this year. We are going to do tests on this. Phosphorus and other inputs that are contaminating our rivers and streams, which is called epoxy in the Gulf, and promote overall better health for all living things. And this is how we're going to start and do this. We have saturated soils up there. We have bought us a tiling plow. We are going to put perforated tile in the ground. But when you look right here at this, right here's what we're going to do this year. We're going to check the nitrates that's coming out of that pipe and we're going to compare it to the neighbors to see if, if we're holding the we want, our, we want our ground to be like a sponge if we can increase our organic material it will hold more water it will hold more nutrients it will hold more nitrates and keep it in the soil I got four seconds to go here so in conclusion and people they look at me and say what in the world did you just say in conclusion here as farmers Let's not let the consumers pass us on the highway of economics. And I had a cousin, he sat there and he just sat there. Like, what, what, what in the world did he just say? Well, I'll tell you what. Remember back to what Dr. Lalitha said when she first began this program today. And then let's farm for the future. Thank you very much.